Hi guys, my name is Dr. Douglas Gillard. Today we're going to talk about the skull and this is not an easy subject. Uh, it is filled with nooks and crannies and uh, this is definitely not undergraduate work here. This is designed to get chiropractic students ready as well as medical students and physical therapy students ready for their uh, state and national boards when it comes to uh, the skull. So without further ado, here we go. Now in this first section, let's talk a little bit about uh, the skull in general. Uh, typically the skull is made up of two parts. It's made up of a neural cranium, which is all of this. Neural cranium. Okay, it includes the frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, temporal bone, sphenoid bone. Uh, some authors include the ethmoid, or at least the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, but uh, for the most part, that's the neural cranium. Now, the visceral cranium is the other major division, and that is basically the facial skeleton. So it includes everything else. So we're going to talk about these things separately. So let's start out our first video here just talking about the neural cranium. By the way, some people differentiate uh, skull from cranium. Cranium is a uh, is a skull without the mandible, but I won't get that finicky today. So this is the frontal bone. Okay, neural cranium, first part of the neural cranium. Then we have a parietal bone. There's actually two parietal bones, one on the other side. Okay, and of course these sutures here. This is a great teaching skull, by the way. It's under five hundred dollars. You know, if you could afford it, this would really uh, help your studies, especially if you're a visual learner. Uh, but these sutures are greatly expanded here for teaching purposes. Uh, then we have the sphenoid bone up here, okay, part of the neural cranium. Temporal bone, and this is the occipital bone. And that's pretty much the neural cranium. I'm going to put down my camera here. And if we tilt this backwards, you can see the occipital bone goes quite a ways, uh, actually inferiorly under the, uh, to make up the bottom part of the skull. Okay, so that's the quick view of the neural cranium. And let's move on. We'll do the visceral cranium next. Visceral cranium is made up of, it's also called the facial skeleton. Um, so it's made up of these parts. It's made up of a zygomatic bone right here. This is kind of like the glue that holds the facial skeleton uh, to the viscera or to the neural cranium. Then we have two maxilla. There's two of these, of course. Two maxilla. Okay, we have a man we have a mandible. One mandible. Now, now we have to go inside the eye here. So this again, this is still zygomatic bone. This is sphenoid. Now this is actually considered part of the neural cranium, so that doesn't count. Let's turn it over here. Uh, so we have the ethmoid bone. We have a lacrimal bone. Now if we look in the nose hole, which of course is not called a nose hole, that's the piriform aperture, which is right here, this kind of pear-shaped thing, piriform aperture. We have the inferior nasal concha here and here. It's again part of the visceral cranium. We have the vomar, which is right here. Okay. This is the, again, the vomar, and this L-shaped bone, there's two of them, this is the palatine process, or this is the palatine bone. This is actually the horizontal process, and we'll get more into that later. But here's the bottom of the L, and here's the, kind of the shaft of the L would be right here, perpendicular plate of the palatine bone. Okay, I believe that will do it for the parts of the visceral cranium. So let's move on and dig into each one of these bones.